Good evening and welcome. The world's focus is tonight on bringing home the victims of the MH17 disaster. There's been an outpouring of grief across the world and services to remember so many lives lost. Libby Stone joins us live now from Amsterdam. Libby, there's been enormous pressure on the Rus Russian government. Yes, absolutely, Christina. There's mounting pressure as well as anger and emotion, particularly here in the Netherlands, but that's shared right across the world. In Perth, there's been a very moving tribute to three young children who've become the little faces of an international tragedy. Evie, Otis and Mo were killed alongside their grandfather. Today, there was a large show of support for their distraught parents, Anthony Maslin and Rin Norris, who've now returned home. Comforted by family and friends, Anthony Maslin and Rin Norris arrived to pay tribute to their three children. Mo, Evie and Milo were returning from Amsterdam with their grandfather Noel Norris when their plane was shot out of the sky. But amongst such heartache there was celebration. Balloons released to remember three happy kids. The touching moment came at the end of a tribute match put on by Moe's junior football club Scarborough. Just two weeks ago, the 12-year-old was running around with his mates. Today, a minute's silence, his best friends holding his number two jumper proudly. I was just looking at a team photo the other day and he's got the smile there and, you know, a, a, a well-respected kid uh, with, throughout the club. Black armbands were worn by both sides. Those closest to the family wore three, a mark of respect for Mo's younger brother and sister. The entire Maslin family were active members of the football club. Things in life don't seem that bad when you see something like this, an absolute tragedy. Not surprisingly, Mo's death has hit these young players hard and the impact has spread right through this football club. Following the tragedy, each parent received a phone call and they were then forced to explain to their children what many of us are struggling to comprehend. They are very upset and uh, my son, he, you know, when we broke the news to him, um, yeah, he was, he was um, distraught really. On the other side of the country, our nation's leaders gathered in prayer. At Sydney St Mary's Cathedral, every pew was taken. A long way from the fields of eastern Ukraine, and there's a long way to head for families wanting to say a proper goodbye. Our overriding wish is that we can give them that love and respect and dignity in their passing. And we say, let's bring them home. The downing of MH17 was not an innocent accident. It was the outcome of a trail of human evil. On a day when tears flowed, political adversaries put aside their differences, united for a country in mourning. We are grieving with and praying for uh, all of those uh, who have been impacted by this dreadful, dreadful event. This is an unbelievable moment of pain for lots of Australian families. I cannot begin to imagine what families are going through today. In the coming weeks, a national memorial service will be held at a time when the Prime Minister feels appropriate for grieving families like the Maslins. My heart goes out to, you know, Maz and Rin, you know, the parents, you know, like, you know, how, do, how do they cope from here on? Loved ones of those lost on MH17 now struggling to piece their lives back together. Ben Hennessy, Nine News.